What's up YouTube? A few people were asking me about taking a peek in the greenhouse, how things are doing. So I figured I'd make a little short video. It's supposed to get a frost tonight. I got my heater going in here. Uh, they said mid-30s, but every time they say mid-30s, I get a frost, so I don't take any chances. I got the heater going. It's dropped down to about 60 in this greenhouse right now, and I would say it would probably go down to 50 in here. Well, anyway, the other day, two days ago, it was 26 degrees, so the heater does the job and keeps the stuff alive. So let's just take a little walk around. I mean, I got all kinds of stuff in here, and Robin's got all kinds of different kinds of flowers. I got... Sweet potatoes, oh, gagutsa. I don't know if you guys ever grew gagutsa. This is a fun one to grow. I made some videos years ago on this plant. It's amazing how fast it grows, and you get these gourds, these edible gourds. They, if you let them go, they'll go four or five feet long. Real funny, uh, fun plant to grow. Try it out. Uh, those are all my paste tomatoes, the plums. We got like 50 of those, they're doing really well. A couple more weeks we're going out. Escarole, I don't know if you guys ever had tried that before. Some of the onions that I'm trying to push a little further along. I don't know, Robin's got all kinds of stuff in here. I don't know, these are wave petunias maybe. I got some watermelon, some spinach growing. A couple different kinds of squash, some cucumber, some more zucchini. Some more cucumber, we got peppers back there, green peppers, San Marzano paste tomato, two trays. I got some German stripes, a couple of those. And I got my sweet 100s in the ground, they're doing really good. I got six of those in the ground, they grow like weeds in this greenhouse. And some more the onions, some more lettuce, you know, the usual stuff. We got some cherry cherry uh hot cherry peppers i like those little round ones some more tomatoes and I, and I buy some plants yet i go down to the local farm market down the road here and and buy uh here's some cabbage and i buy some plants some of the stuff that i didn't start from seed i don't know there's a number of different other kind of squash i buy and uh a couple pumpkins i'll do and you know if I see some other stuff to catch my eye, I'd like to try different kinds of tomatoes. I buy some few uh, different varieties, different varieties of squash. You grow so much stuff, I, I give a lot of it away. <laughs> Believe me, after even after canning and freezing, I'm still giving stuff away. You'd be surprised on how uh, small areas, how much stuff you can grow. You don't need acres and acres and acres of land. You can grow a lot of food on a small plot. All right, YouTube, I was just going to come out and give a little quick video. I'm going in the house. It's getting late, and uh, go relax a little bit. Take it easy.